A woman in Nairobi is being accused of brutally assaulting her 12-year-old daughter by pouring boiling water on her and shaving parts of her head with a kitchen knife. Witnesses and neighbours claim it's not the first time the woman has done this. Dorcas Wangira has more details. A 12-year-old girl whose identity we will conceal bears severe wounds that have kept her out of school. Skulls on both arms, on her legs and patches on her head. On Saturday night at Umoja in Akwe City, Nairobi, her mother is alleged to have inflicted these severe injuries. But what would drive her to that extent? Kafka Sambili, mom, and a neighbor came to Nini, came and found me with my friend at their house. Mama Linda akeka maji kwa electronic jug kwa nachemsha maji akeendia pipe na kisu kisu alikuwa amesha pen friday kanza kunchapa na pipe alinchukua alichukua mli yangu kanza kunikata kata na kisu after maji lichemka mom transferred the water to another jug of color pink akani rusha hivi maji as if she was throwing something but she threw water at me hot water boiled water the miner's account is that she escaped from the house and showed the wounds to one of the neighbors. Her father and other relatives were able to pick her and seek medical attention. I follow up with the police, then I came to the house and I came to the house and I came to the house and I came to the house. The incident was first reported at the Tena AP post the same night, Saturday 23rd, then at the Buruburu police station on Sunday. The mother was arrested but was released on a cash bail of 10,000 shillings. There was also no P3 form to give solid grounds for arrest. However, the victim, the minor, was not able to officially record her statement. Then... <laughs> government doctor kamwangalia kandika all the injuries kwa petria kafil then tukarudi na buruburu yesterday we were to come but kujana other witnesses when you only witness hiyo Today, Tuesday 9 a.m. at the Buruburu police station, father and daughter had come to record their statement. We met them at 11 a.m. They were leaving after being told that they could not record since the officer handling the case had gone to attend a funeral. We spoke to the deputy OCS who was in charge of the station at the time. Minutes later, they were called back to record what would be crucial for the investigation. Investigating officer, when you have your case, you have to But the other officers, when you have to report to report everything, you have to prepare a file for it to go to court on Friday. So by the time the investigating officer has come, you have to the file is ready. The minor will now be staying with her father. Neighbors say it's not the first time she has been assaulted by her mother. The father also says that she has also assaulted him on occasion and showed us multiple scars. He has known her for close to 13 years. They are currently separated with no formal custody arrangements. Her family is said to have wanted to settle the assault as a family matter out of court. What all was to consider, to consider to withdraw the case because of the, that in my mom daughter and all that. The incident may go on for like 10 years. Now, as if it is what I'm going to consider to me, so what is new that I'm going to do for I think it is better to end the court judiciary. It put your way forward. Will it not settle it once and for all? No? The mother will take plea in court on Friday. Dorcas Wangera, Citizen TV, Nairobi.